If you have like bad areas, well, of course, cover it up, cover it up all you want, but just don't make it worse. That's like, yeah, I think that's the, that's the underlying idea. Try your best to fix your issues and then on top, you know, put on makeup. Initiating. Welcome back to my daily grind. Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night. No time to lose one day, one step. In the right direction, I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, you can do it too. Welcome back to the vlog, it is Tuesday in our day, another chance to push out and the topic for this vlog is, well, we'll talk about the danger of makeup, so let's get it. By the way, all looks mixing related vlogs right here, watch them all. But before we get started, of course, out to all my subscribers, thank you for making my life special and worth living to the max. So let me try to get back with a sweet, sweet video. This is the vlog for Tuesday, it's not actually Tuesday, you know, my vlog life, it's kind of complicated, but anyways, we just put on the makeup version one, check out the vlog right here if you missed it. Turn up pretty good full face makeup right there. Quite natural looking in my opinion. But there are dangers to applying makeup. It gets, sounds kind of ridiculous, but explain, please just explain. Uh, yeah, um, it's important to take a look on the ingredients of the product you put on your face because especially the skin in your face is really... Um, it's delicate. Delicate, yeah, exactly. So it's important to spend a little bit more money on the products when you want to have a nice skin afterwards. There are basically yeah. a few more topics that we need to cover, that I need to cover. It's like getting rid of the makeup first of all and afterwards taking care of your skin because you don't want to, you don't want your skin to turn into a, you know, nasty skin. <laughs> you talked about that a few minutes ago. There are girls out there. I know a few of them like personally covered up in makeup, in tons of makeup every single day of their lives. And if they don't have makeup on, it's just, it's just looking really bad. It's ridiculous because they use the makeup to just cover up the bad skin. But instead of I taking think, care, yeah, I solving think the, you should the at first take care of your skin and then you can use the makeup to make it even more perfect. But don't use the makeup to cover up the bad things because of this you have to clean and, and moisture and stuff and nourish your skin before you put on the makeup and especially when you get rid of the makeup afterwards. Really important is which product you use to get rid of the makeup because a few days ago I read again that most of the products which you can buy in the store like these wet tissues with chemicals in it to just get rid of the makeup in your face they really dry out your skin even if it's written on it that it's moisturized and whatever and three in one and whatever I think it's just a lie <laughs> because I recognize it on my own skin. I mean, I don't use makeup that much, so I don't use this makeup remover things that often, but I can feel it on the skin, even if it's written that it's moisturized and stuff. The skin is afterwards really dry and it feels like you just rub in wrinkles and stuff, especially around your eyes, because the eye area is really, really delicate. And when you use bad chemicals, then your wrinkles and I don't know, maybe even the dark circles underneath your eyes will get much worse. So then you have to put much more effort into getting rid of these things again. So it's a downward spiral. Basically. Yeah. If you have like bad areas, well, of course, cover it up, cover it up all you want, but just don't make it worse. That's like, yeah, I think that's the, that's the underlying idea. Try your best to fix your issues and then on top, you know, put on makeup. You don't want to make it worse. That's like all that I wanted to say. So these are basically the dangers of makeup. Use good products, use good products to cleanse your skin again. Don't sleep with your makeup is probably yeah, another, yeah, another really, part that's of really the list. <laughs> don't sleep with your makeup. The day afterwards, you really look like 10 years older, really. it's. The worst for your skin. After you took it off, like, oh. yeah. Oh my god, okay. It's really, really the baddest thing you could do. I have slept in with concealer if many times. That's something that I need to remember, I think. Don't sleep in makeup. And what else is there? We could talk about much more, I think, taking care routine in the morning and in the evening. We could also do a vlog about this. Yeah, I already did a morning routine. You can check it out right here. And one of our next vlogs, one of the next looks maxing vlogs will be buying the right products for man. And I will take her along the way and we will, you know, just get all the products, get meaningful, resourceful, good products. And you can check out this vlog right freaking here when it's ready. But I think that's that's it for, for this vlog. It's just a, just a short reminder to be resourceful with whatever you're doing. Yeah. Right? Well, yeah. you're right. 
Okay, yeah. so <laughs> that's enough progress for today. Smash that like button. You, you, the way your skin will get smashed if you don't remove your makeup before going to bed and if you don't remove it with good cleansing tissues. Whatever. Bang the bell like crap, crap, to never miss future looks, maxing blogs. Check the recent news on chrisviral.com. And yeah, that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow.